Hello, my name is Ian Raphael Isidore Smart, and I am the good. Politicians are the ugly, and the 1% that finances their campaigns are the bad. Now some of you guys might know me as the solo man. Some of you guys might know me as the guy that brought in the first Tesla into Trinidad. Some of you might know me as the guy that did the 1% protest outside of Richard's coffee shop, the one-man protest against Mario Sabga, who claimed to be the most powerful man in Trinidad and Tobago. What an idiot. Anyway, some of you might also know me as the guy that created the concept We Green Army, an app to help mobilize people to do green activities to help cloud source chant climate change. Um, some of you might know me as the guy that stole the hat from the Black Lives the, the policeman's hat from the Black Lives Matter protest. That was me. And uh, some of you guys might know me as the guy that did the uh, ran into the Catholic Church in St. Finn Bars in 2004, jump kicked the bread and wine of the consecrated bread and wine, and told everybody that Jesus is not real. I'm that guy. Basically, I have no fear of no man, no fear of no religious institutions, no fear of no freaking cops, no fear of any new colonial captains and kings. fear no one. I'm the guy the planet has been waiting for all these times. I'm the one that's going to free us from the matrix. I have seen the matrix. It is real. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm the guy in the Bible that everybody's been waiting on that's gonna change the world. I know what you're thinking, this is some sort of a joke. This ain't no joke, it's a rope to go. Now I wanna make a shout out to some kings out there that are, that are very arrogant and think they rule the world. First off, King Charles III. I need you to start liquidating all your assets to pay back what you stole from the black man and from colonialism and slavery. If you don't do this as soon as possible, I'm going to chop your fucking head off in the afterlife and make you roam around quantum Hades lost within a realm, within a fucking realm. Right, next on the list. Prime Minister Ben Benjamin Netanyahu, other affectionately known by his followers as BB. I need you to free all the Palestinian people, give them back their lands that you stole from them, give them a two-state solution and allow them freedom to travel wherever they want to go. If you do not do this, I promise you, this will be the most prophetic statement ever uttered out of a man's mouth. Your womb shall become your fucking tomb. Basically, Netanyahu, I'm going to make you and your followers, you and your kind. I'm going to make Adolf Hitler look like a fucking Mary Poppins. This ain't no joke, man. Pope Francis, I like you, and I'm very happy that you, you repudiated that uh, discovery um, doctrine of the Catholic Church that said that, you know, gave, gave uh, impunity for you all to colonize and disrupt the indigenous people and exterminate them. I'm glad you denounced that, that discovery uh, doctrine, but now you need to do the second step. You all need to fucking pay. You all need to return all that gold that you all stole. I tell you in no uncertain terms, I am going to bring about the end of the Catholic Church as it is known today. 
I am the Antichrist. Prince Mohammed bin Salman, otherwise known as Prince MBS. You like to chop up um, reporters, huh? Nice. Well, I have a news flash for you. I'm gonna chop you up into fucking fine pieces and feed you to the kongs of quantum fucking Hades. Thing is, joke. Let me tell you something. I don't have any special powers, except for one. I control the sun. That's right, you heard me. See that sun up in the sky, the nuclear bomb up in the sky that you all don't have any control over? I control that. I could rain fire down on this fucking sky and burn out any fucking nation I will, will at will. I am the sun god. Twenty years ago, I saw a solar storm in Maine, October 31st, 2003. That was when I first became conscious of my godhood. Right after that incident, I went to Montreal to apply for a student visa to go to Australia to do my masters in renewable energy. That's when the shit hit the fan. The Australians denied my student visa based on the fact that I didn't do an English language proficiency fucking test. The only language Trinidadians speak is English, you fucking cunts. Oh, well, you know what I did? I said, I'm not doing an English language proficiency test. I am going to pray to the fucking Lucifer himself and say, hey, sort this visa situation out for me. I don't want my visa tomorrow. I don't want my visa next week. I want my visa last week. Are you not going to believe what fucking happened? The next day I got a call from the Australian Embassy saying that a law was changed last week that they weren't aware of that made it exempt for me to do the English language test if I had studied for five years in any one of these six white countries, which I did because I did a double degree with economics and electrical engineering. Four years in Canada, one year in Hawaii, which is part of the US, which made me exempt from the English language test. When I realized that I had ripped a hole in the space-time continuum through the rage in my fucking head and caused my thoughts to become reality, that's when I realized this Jesus thing is fucking bullshit. That's when I made the ultimate prayer. I prayed to become a force to end visas. I prayed to become a force to make renewable energy free for the world. I prayed to become a force to create peace on earth. That's me. That's how it all started. That's my origin story. After that, I moved on to Hawaii on my way to Australia. And I came across a friend of mine who introduced me to a plant called Angel Trumpets. It's the strongest hallucinogen on the planet. Look it up. Well, I took that plant. I boiled it and I drank it. And I went into the heart of the matrix. I asked to travel into the heart of the matrix like a Kama fucking Kazi. And when I entered into that realm, they saw me and they shot me with a laser beam that ionized me and made me into everything. That's my trip. Short but sweet. Then I floated back down to earth and came back double inverted. Biden. I need you to rounds up 
every single person involved in that Iraqi debacle. George Bush, Condoleezza Rice, Cheney, Rumsfeld, and any senator who voted for that Iraq war. That includes yourself, Biden. You voted for that war. Anybody who is responsible for that war has bad karma written upon his soul. I am here to make the big wheel of karma spin all the way around. I am Kate Salkwal, come back again. Those who don't know that is, as a Mesoamerican man, Aztec, Aztec, Inca God. That's who I am. I'm the ghost of slavery. I am demanding that all the colonial powers that be start gathering their finances together to start paying reparations for black people that were enslaved in the new world. France, oh my God, y'all over here, it's so much money, it's ridiculous. And all of Africa that y'all been ripping off for the last couple of decades, that shit has got to stop. Otherwise, I will rain down fire. I will nuke you just to watch the Eiffel Tower fucking melt.